welcome back to LPB Racing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we hope you enjoy the content that you're about to see. LPB Racing presents the LPB WTCR Championship. This is round four, race three from Interlagos, Brazil. Hi everyone and welcome back to LPB Racing for the LPB WTCR Championship Season 2 here on GT Sport. This is Race 3 of our Round 4 special event. We are at Interlagos in Brazil and we're going to take you through the grid for this one now. Red Bull is on pole position then because of the reverse grid, so, so pole position for Red Bull. And it is Firepower alongside him in second place in the Scirocco. Woo Woo in third. Uh, in his BMW, then we got Neil Farmack in fourth on the medium tyres because remember he ran his, uh, he 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 run ran the Super Softs at uh, Willow Springs, so that will be the, op the opposite tyres for this one. Bidster on on fifth position with uh, the Super Softs. Domingo sixth on the mediums. We've got Brad is seventh, and then we've got Blake in eighth. Stevie is in ninth in the Evo with Jamo in tenth in his Subaru. They're all on Super Soft tyres. Mediums for Will in the Atenza in 11th. Techno 12th in his Atenza, but on the Super Softs. We've got Rodders in 13th on the Mediums. And then we've got Mediums for Seat 1 in 14th. And TY on the Mediums at the back in 15th. Also remember, because of the reverse grid uh, as well, that means TY's at the back after winning the last one. And also the weight penalties are as follows. We've got TY at 100 kilos on the maximum weight now, because of that last win on double points. Seat 1, 80 kilos. Neil Farmack, 60 kilos. Jamo, 40. And Stevie on 20. As we get ready to go here at Brazil. And away we go. And the front wheel drives will scramble up the hill. And the four wheel drives will be like, coming through, coming through, coming through. But we go to the first corner and the two BMWs are away. The rear wheel drive BMWs are away. It's like watching the British touring cars when the BMWs get a good start. But here we go towards the first corner. Bidster goes wide. Blake and everyone else having to shuffle the way into the corner. Domingo around the outside of everyone. Argy bargy with, uh, with Blake and gets through. And that leaves the door open for... Uh, Jam out to go through as well as Bidster takes to the grass and thinks, right, I'm just going to avoid all you lot and you guys can do what you want, but I'm going this way. They're down to the, set, the the next corner then. We've still got the two Red Bull. Oh, there's two BMW swap, swap places. Woo Woo goes ahead as we've got contact further back as Will goes off there and TY goes through into 10th place. So a bit of contact there between some cars. Blakeney with a half second penalty as well, so that's not going to help his race. Bidster down to 14th and Techno at the back. Will goes wide there and he's going to let Rodders through on the inside if he's not careful. And he is doing. Rodders goes through on the inside in the Lexus and takes another position. And, uh, and Will's going to try and fight back with his nose down the inside. He's, whoa. Rodders just sees him and so he goes, whoa, OK, I'll just give you some room. And into the next right-hander, Rodders should have the inside to defend the, the, defend the line. Will try to go around the long way, but no way through. And Bidster just passes both cars on the inside. And now it's three wide going around the right, going around the left-hander. Techno's getting in on, the, on this as well. Oh my word! It's everywhere, every man for themselves. And Bidster goes around the outside of the lot of them, and he gets to run up the hill as well. Remember, Bidster's light in this one. No weight on his car, and super soft tyres. So he's on the on the move up the hill. The Peugeot's acceleration will help him up the hill. Across the line then with the leaders, it is Woo Woo and Red Bull battling for the lead. The two teammates going absolutely at it. Not doing any team orders, just absolutely going at it. And Red Bull takes the lead back. The two Rocket Shrokos go into battle there as Neil Farmack and... Uh, where's Firepower gone? There he is. Firepower's there with Neil Farmack. These cameras are a bit too zoomed in, guys. I'm just going to swap to the other camera, see how we get on that. That's better. So we can actually see what's going on now. Go back to Bradders, there's Bradders going down towards the next corner, trying to catch up to the guys in front. Domingo moves out to have a look at Neil, no way through. Further back, there's TY, bids to Rodders, so 11th for bids now. In front of the rest behind. So let's look back to the BMWs then. Woo Woo's back in front of Red Bull again. So the two Red Bull BMWs absolutely going hammer and tongs here. Woo Woo leads the way, the Brit from the Belgian behind of Red Bull. Then we've got uh, Stevie third with Firepower fourth. There's Blake, Domingo and everyone else in that midfield battle there. We've got quite a little a queue forming here behind Neil Farmack. He's on 60 kilos weight. Not helping, I don't think, as Bradders looks to the inside. Bradders looks to the inside. Neil gets rid of a bit more of his penalty and lets Bradders go. Domingo tries to take advantage now on the way out of the corner. Jamal's on the inside of Blake. The two Subarus trying to work together here. So the two Subarus trying to work together. 
the team on the medium tyres, and it doesn't look like he's on the mediums, it looks like he's on a pair of super softs, but Neil's got to get rid of that penalty before he goes up the hill, otherwise he's going to lose a load of time, but he's going to have to slow down at the line now, so he's going to have to get rid of that penalty a bit more. As Bids looks to the inside of both Subarus, Bids has all of a sudden said, hello, I'm back, I'm here, and now he's up the inside of Blake as well, 12th to 9th in one corner, incredible, or, or we might even be 12th to 8th in one corner here, as Neil Fight gets rid of his penalty, it's 12th to 7th, incredible, fast stop of the race as well, absolutely on it, so into the first corner then, there's Jammer with Neil Farmack up the inside, TY didn't quite manage to get through there as Jammer runs wide, come back for Neil possibly, can't do it, can't quite do it. BMW still in battle here, Red Bull looking at the inside of Woo Woo into the left-hander, Woo Woo not phased, holds on around the outside but if these two keep on going out like this, Stevie's going to close right up to him, but side by side around the exit of the corner. Where's everyone else? There's looking at everyone else here. No, they're all okay. Back to the BMs then at the front. We're with a one second penalty for going wide on the exit of the fourth corner. Which is quite bad, really, but uh, shouldn't really get a penalty for going wide because he lost, he, lost, he lost time there. He didn't gain any time, but uh, clearly the game thinking otherwise. So this game's stupid penalty system strikes again. Domingo's all over the back of. Bradders was actually doing a very good job here in fifth place, and so is Firepower actually still holding on to fourth place to lead Rocket Scirocco in fourth place. Doing a good job, he's actually still got the leaders just about in sight as well. So good job by Firepower and Bradders here. But looks like the Bradders is about to start applying the pressure to the back of the, v of the VW. Having a look into the last corner, no way through there. Bids is right behind Domingo now. There's Jamo with a penalty as well. Jamo's had to get rid of a penalty. Sensible stuff gets rid of it before he goes up the hill. And also can let he can let TY go and get a draft from his teammate. So sensible stuff there from Jamo. Doesn't want to slow down on the line because he'll lose a load of speed getting back up. Looks like TY's not really wanting to pass him here. Those are the others, Neil and Techno come up. There's the two BMWs. Now, yes, they have, because they've been battling, Stevie's right on the back of them now, so it's going to be their own fault if that happens as Firepower uh, loses, a pl loses places, because Bradders is through, and then Firepower now goes backwards, straight from straight from uh, fourth to seventh in one corner. Binson gets through to fifth, and Bradders now, so both the Peugeot's doing very well in this one so far. The leaders are still battling at it. The Red Bull will not, Red Bull and Woo Woo will not leave each other alone. Good to see there's no team orders, but you've got to sort of put some kind of team orders in there if you want to, if you want to keep the one two because Stevie's right on the back of these two now and he's just going to wait until they both trip each other up and take advantage. So they've got to watch out here. They've got to think what they want to do, but there is a bit of a language barrier unfortunately because Red Bull doesn't know much English. So Red Bull just keep fighting all the way. Red Bull does not give up a fight. He doesn't care who his teammate is. He just fights regardless which sometimes can be good, but can be good for the entertainment value, but not for sometimes for using your head value. But Domingo is in 8th, Jamo in 9th, TY 10th, and then we've got, D then we've got Neil Farmack, Techno and Rodders all battling out for position as well. Further back is Seat 1 and Will, so they've had a horrible race so far, not the best race for them. Uh, again, they're both on the medium tyres as well, so suffering with grip, or well, lack of grip, should I say. But up the hill goes Woo Woo and Red Bull still fighting each other now. And Stevie's just going to rub his hands together and just wait for the opportunity. Woo Woo defends the inside from Red Bull who goes the long way lap 5 of 12 already in this race. It's flown so far. Into the first corner Woo Woo defends the inside and that means they're going to be both slow at the corner and that means Stevie can pounce. If he's close enough but he's not quite close enough yet. Red Bull looks to sneak up the inside, no way through there. Back to the previous battle. Bids is now ahead of Bradders. I wonder if Bids to let. I wonder if Bradders let him through. So, because he knows that Bids is on a charge here. So I wonder if uh, Bradders has done the team thing or Bids has just pulled a good move. So we'll get that in a replay later on. But the two Peugeot swap places now, and Blakeney now is closing up on the back of the of the, uh, of the Peugeot of Bradders, trying to take firepower with him as well. There's Domingo in eighth, and then Jamo Techno's up in this as well. The inside in the Mazda and goes dives down the inside, goes wide. And then uh, ends up losing places, and Neil Farmack goes through. Rodders might even go through here as well on, on momentum up the hill. Let's have a see. Rodders to the outside, Techno to the inside, and Rodders just drives around the outside of him. So Techno's lost some time there, and uh, yeah, just got a bit overexcited. And that's what can happen. Oh, Domingo's been off. Domingo's been off. He's paused. His controller's gone again. His controller's disconnected, and now it's come back. Not good news for Domingo there and uh, not what he wants but yeah he needs to definitely get a new wheel uh, ASAP because that's just going to ruin his championship chances and uh, and the fun on his race nights as well 
So back to the leaders then. They've actually pulled a little gap on Stevie, so I wonder if Stevie's made a mistake somewhere. Because uh, yeah, he's definitely backed off from the from the two lead from the two leaders. So they can still battle at it, but uh, I still wouldn't advise battling. But uh, you know, they have got a bit of space, I suppose. Woo Woo and Red Bull side by side into towards turn one. Red Bull almost squeezed onto the grass by his teammate there. They don't want to do that because otherwise the team points will go straight down the pan. But uh, to, still battling for the lead as bids to closes on on Stevie there. And uh, into the 37s goes bids and Stevie last time around the 42. So yeah, definitely a problem for Stevie on that lap. Definitely a problem. Neil Farman goes through there. He's got Techno and Rod is behind. Domingo trying to catch up to the rest so just do that mid-race point where they all start to spread out a little bit but uh, hopefully should start to come together as the laps tick off uh, meanwhile the best battle on track at the minute is between the two Red Bull teammates of Red Bull and Woo Woo so they're both battling each other as they come up over the top into the complex section that's where the rear wheel drive is very good as Woo Woo does not prove there two runs wide Red Bull tries to have a little go back but again doing this they're going to slow the lap times down they've got to be careful as Red Bull looks to the inside again, Woo Woo covers it off. Woo Woo, not the easiest person to pass, and also if Woo Woo gets past, he does fight back. So both, both his teammates as ruthless as each other as we go through the last few few corners in towards the last proper corner on the track. Red Bull looks to the inside, locks a front brake, and not able to get up the or get out the corner ahead. And now he's got to use the draft and try and get himself back up to the back of his teammate. Meanwhile, further back, Bids is actually almost on the back of Stevie already. Stevie's uh, definitely being caught here by the Peugeot RCZ. The SO Ultron Peugeot catching the Hypermax Evo of Stevie as we go across the line. There's Stevie, there's Bids. I'm flashing his lights now, saying, hello, I'm catching. 36.9 for Bids. Fastest lap of the race so far. So he's on the charge here. Wants as many points as he can get. If those, if those BMWs keep battling like they are. And Red Bull's now ahead. Uh, and uh, you, you never know, bids to, at this rate could end up catching them both and passing them both. So we'll see as the race goes on. Back to the BMs then. Red Bull with a penalty this time. One second penalty. Probably cut the inside of the first corner too much. And he goes wide. Now he's got to serve that before the rest of the lap uh, finishes. Yeah, so the back we've got Jamo and Firepower side by side. Jamo on the inside in the Subaru goes through to seventh. Firepower back down to eighth. Not had the best round here in the special event. Firepower not quite gelled with the car and track combinations that we've had in the special event. So hopefully he might be able to fight back ne at the, at the uh, next round of the championship. For the back, Techno and Neil. Neil ahead of the Mazda of Techno. So uh, yeah, um, hopefully these guys can hopefully fight back better at auto, at auto polish but Techno goes onto the grass and properly stops the car so it doesn't hit Neil so good sportsmanship there but uh, again just getting a bit reckless getting a bit over ambitious as he was earlier when he took himself off just trying to go for a gap that isn't there really and Bids is in third Bids is in third Stevie's been passed by Bids and he's now in third Red Bull's had to serve his penalty and Woo Woo's gone so can Bids catch Red Bull and then can he catch Woo Woo Judging by the last lap he did, I would say yes, but you never know in racing because now Woo Woo's got a, no, now Woo Woo's got a gap. He can get his head down, and he doesn't have to worry about his teammate anymore. He can just get his head down and get going. And I would imagine he'll try and match Bidster's lap if he can. And there's Bids over the curb, Stevie right behind. Stevie's still not out of this yet. He might be able to use Bidster to pull himself up to the beamers. So don't call it yet for for Stevie. Brad is defending from Blake who takes a lot of curb on the inside that could possibly be a penalty but Brad is, holds the defensive line on the inside no way through for Blake there in the Greg's Lexus SO Ultron Peugeot versus Greg's Lexus down towards turn four Look to the outside a lot of grass there as he breaks a lot of grass but luckily not uh, spin the car out Jamo's not too far behind these lot as well remember Jamo is uh, running on fourth place weight 40 kilos his teammate T.Y. is on 100 kilos and he's on medium tyres and he's up to ninth. Good job by T.Y. so far in this one. Further back, Neil Farmack and Rod are still together. And then at the back, we've got Will and Seat One. Seat One running wide there. There's not enjoying this track and uh, track combination. Plus, with the medium tyres, not really enjoying it. But we'll see how they get on next time at Auto Polish. Seat One with a penalty there. There's, there's we will now Red Bull has got Bidster all over the back of him. The Peugeot is right on the back of the BMW now. So Red Bull versus Bidster. 
up the hill. The Peugeot should have the power and the acceleration up the hill. Remember, both cars are, are running uh, the standard weight. They've got no weight, no extra extra ballast on. So this is a pure driver-on-driver um, -driver battle, rear-wheel drive versus front-wheel drive as well with the cars. Bits goes to the outside using the acceleration of the Peugeot around the outside. He's got a bit more speed, but breaking into turn one, Red Bull's got the defensive line for the first part. Can Biz to hold it around the outside? Nope, can't do that. Not in the front wheel drive. He's got to try and set himself up for the way out as Red Bull takes a lot of curb again. Got to watch out for the penalties there, Red Bull. Techno in ninth place under pressure from TY and also Jammo only just ahead of firepower and with a penalty applied as well. So something happened there for Jammo to get a penalty. So must have got it uh, just just uh, just before the line. So he's all right so far. Meanwhile, further back, seat, seat one and Will they've swapped. Will's now in front of seat one in 14th place. Seat one goes back down to 15th. Bidster is ahead of Red Bull. Bidster is ahead of Red Bull. He must have passed him into turn into turn four or turn five even. Sorry. Uh, so uh, Red Bull fighting back though, but he's got a half second penalty to get rid of. So. The fight's not really much point in fighting because he's got to get rid of that penalty. Might as well get rid of that penalty and try and get straight back in the draft. But that's whether he's going to be able to think that. Uh, he might be too hooked in the battle to even focus on his penalty. But if I were him, I'd get rid of it before you go up the hill, Red Bull. Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of time if you get rid of it up the hill. And you're going to go backwards into the hands of Stevie, but he's not got rid of it, so he's going to have to do it up the hill. So Red Bull, yep, slows down and loses all that time, all that traction up the hill, all that speed. And now Stevie's going to be rubbing his hands together thinking, aha, possible podium is on the cards here. Blakeney's under pressure from Jamo. The Subaru is on the move here. But remember, Jamo's still got that a bit that penalty. He's got, still got a lot of that penalty to get rid of. Jamo, unless it was a contact penalty. But uh, if it's a contact penalty, he'll be able to keep going. But if it's a dry, if it's a track limits one, he will have to serve it. And he is serving it. He's serving it now. But that's not a good place to serve it. Is it? Luckily, Techno avoids. But... Uh, Yep, Jamo not taking that in a very good spot as T.Y. and Neil Farmack go through. So, and again, the, 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 with the penalty on this track, you're best off taking it in the complex section in the middle because then you'll not lose too much time or, even, or as long as you do it before the last official corner. Because these are just like little bends up the hills, really. But uh, the last major corner, that left-hander that leads up the hill, you need to get rid of it before then, really, because otherwise you're going to lose a hell of a lot of time. Firepower looks to overtake T.Y. but he's not close enough yet. His firepower doesn't really get to, doesn't really seem to get close enough to overtake. And then pulls out and then that happens. You get passed around the outside by Jamo. So firepower is a little tip. You need to get closer to the car in front before you pull out to overtake. Because then you're actually able to get past. You can't just pull out to overtake when you are actually when you're still a couple of car lengths behind. It's not gonna work unless you're gonna go for a lunge, which is dangerous. Meanwhile, Woo Woo in the 37 nines then, 37 nines for Woo Woo now, and Bidster in the 37 zeros and 37 eights. So Bidster with a definitely with the pace over Woo Woo here, but can he keep it up to catch him before the end of the race? Because there's only a handful of laps left here. Red Bull has got Stevie for company as well. Red Bull 140 last time round with the penalty that he had to serve, but we'll see what it's like this time. As Stevie comes up behind him as well in the draft. Meanwhile, Bradders has got a bit of a train behind him. He's got Blake and uh, Blake and Techno in the Lexus and the Mazda behind him. But the Peugeot should have the good speed on the straight to maintain the gap. But it's just the corners where the rear-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive might be slightly better. But down the straight, Bradders has not got really any worries really. The acceleration of the Peugeot gets him ahead quite rapidly. And breaking into turn one, he defends the inside line from Blake. Does he go wide? Yes, he does. Blake could get a good cut back here and so could Techno, but Bradders has got to keep it tight to the inside here, don't leave a gap and Techno's on the curb, on the grass, trying to get past Blake off the track and uh, that's not really not really allowed and he has to pull back in, but don't know, we don't know what it is with Techno in this race, he's very, very hot-headed in this race, he's really, really aggressive and that's not helping his race because he's just getting stupid penalties like that for cutting the, across the grass, so doesn't need to do that as I think Blake went wide there, Blake went wide and now Techno chucks it up the inside, which is what you do as uh, Blake gets a penalty then for running wide, so this game really does not know what a penalty is at all, and luckily, and luckily guys, um, in the future those penalties will actually be turned off, but uh, yeah, so we've got to sort of finish the championship first at least, got to be fair. There's, oh, we've got a car running wide there, that's where Techno running wide, side by side with Blake still, we've got two Subarus in battle now, Jamo is being, actually he's being caught by TY, incredible stuff by TY, 39 threes with medium tyres, and 40-41-39 for, for Jamo on his tyres, 
That is just incredible stuff. Back to the front then, it is Woo Woo in the lead, 37.8 last time round, 37.6 for Bids, he's not closing in fast enough, and that's because the front tyres on that Peugeot are starting to go, because the front wheel drives are, are very, very strong on their tyres and grip levels in the first five or six laps, but then after that, they do start to fade, and that's the advantage that the rear wheel drive has, is the tyres are usually quite even, even as they get to the end of the race. And same with the four wheel drives, but Red Bull goes wide, that's not going to help, and he gets another one second penalty as well so not good for Red Bull that was definitely track limits and he's going to have to serve that before the end of the race and I've got a feeling he's going to do it in the same place he did before which he doesn't need to do and he's going to be a bit early or he's going to cause himself issues Jamo is now through into 7th place the, um, so the Subaru's then on the move they've passed Techno and they've passed Firepower well one of them's passed Firepower and uh, one, one of them's passed both te Techno and Firepower but they're on the move here, the Subaru's trying to grab every single point they can on this last lap of this race. It's been a good race so far, and it's been a good special event here. Plenty of points on the board, because we've double points. Remember, it's 40 points for a win, not 20, so doubled points here. And Woo Woo is looking like he's going to take a good a good haul of 40 points, but uh, Bidster will be taking the 36 for... Uh, sorry, the 34 for second, but with 36 with the fastest lap, if he can hold on to it. Round we go, Woo Woo coming up the hill, there we are, up the hill goes Woo Woo, he's home free now, so Woo Woo's going to get this one in the bag, bids is close but not close enough, Red Bull's had to serve the penalty and Stevie's got through, Stevie's through into third, and again cutting the corner on the inside, both cars, this could be quite a close finish, but Woo Woo for the Red Bull BMW team, takes victory here, well done to Woo Woo in the BMW, weaves across the line, fantastic win for Woo Woo, and held off his teammate in the first few laps as well, Bids to second, Stevie's going to take third from Red Bull who served his penalty on the last lap so Red Bull gets robbed by the uh, penalty system, Stevie takes third, Red Bull fourth, Bradders takes a well deserved fifth, best result of the season so far for him, Blake holds on to sixth just ahead of Jamo and Techno across the line together, Jamo takes seventh, Techno eighth, TY ninth, Firepower tenth, Neil Farmack holds on to eleventh in front of Rodders in twelfth, King Domingo is going to be 13th in the Audi. Not a good race for him on the medium tyres. And Will and Seek are still not done. They've had a nice battle all race. But Will is going to hold on in the Mazda to take 14th ahead of Seek 1 in a lonely 15th. So, guys, that was the race from Interlagos. We will now take you to the replays and the results and the overall points. And now let's move on to look at the replays from Interlagos. Okay, here's the first of the replays then, we're on board with Tech now, so watch the group of cars ahead. So we're back to get a bit close, the Lexus then pushes Bidster off the uh, off onto the Afterturf, he lifts off and comes back on, loses a bit of speed. Now watch, you know, we're on board with Tech now, this is going to get fun, we're going to break very, very late. And then we go and hit Will Bang, who hits Bidster, who then has a two and a half second penalty for actually going onto the Afterturf and trying to keep out the way. So. Uh, but at least he, when he gets hit, he gets rid of the penalty. But uh, yeah, not quite the uh, the entrance into turn four that we all expected. And now here's a replay of how Stevie ended up losing time to Woo and Red Bull. They were battling together on lap five. Watch Stevie's car. We go out of the corner. He runs wide onto the after turf. Yes, he keeps his foot in, but he's not really gaining anything. He's run wide and lost time. And then wait for it. Three, two, one, ping. One second penalty. So not good, he yeah, so gets a one second penalty and then uh, has to start serving that and then he cuts the corner a bit there and runs wide there, just a little bit and then all of a sudden the game says bing, there you go, another half a second to add on, so overall gets a one and a half second uh, penalty for all that. Here's a replay of some action then on lap 8 of the race, so we're watching the Lexus of Blake and Jamo. So Lexus and Blake and uh, Subaru of Jamo into the complex section. Now this is going to start getting interesting, because out of here, Blake doesn't get a very good run. Jamo gets a good run, he's well on the inside, then all of a sudden Blake just comes across, bang, and again, and again, bang, bang, bang. So he's like trying to force him off the track, and then Blake then ends up uh, with Jamo sort of retaliating a bit, running wide, and then Blake then runs Jamo wide. There, bang, hits him off the track, so Blake then being a bit dirty there. And as we come back from those replays, let's look at the results of race three. So it is Woo Woo who takes victory. Well done to Woo Woo in the M4 with Bidster in second in the RCZ. 
It is Stevie in third in the Evo, with Red Bull in fourth in the M4. Then it's Brad is a brilliant top five for him in the RCZ, with Blakeney, Blakeney in sixth, a good position for him as well in the Lexus. Jamo seventh in the WRX. Then it's the Attenza of Techno in eighth, as we go over the page. TY ninth in his Subaru. Then it's the two Shrokos of Firepower and Neil Farmer in tenth and eleventh. Then it's Rodders in the twelfth in the Lexus. Thirteenth for Domingo in the TT. Will in four in fourteenth in the Attenza. And then it's Seat One in fifteenth in the Evo. Bidston gets the fastest lap this time, a 136.9. And now we move on to the overall standings after round four. It is T Wine, the leader of the championship on 165, two points ahead of Woo Woo in second place. Then it's third for Stevie on 160 with Bidster on 157 in fourth. Then it's Jamo fifth in what on 152, Neil sixth on 150, uh, Seat One on 148, Red Bull on 136 with Techno on 134 in ninth. Will's 10th on 131 with Rodders on 127. Then it's 12th for Blake on 103. Domingo's on 99 with Bradders on 82. 15th is Firepower on 44 with Steve Paramore on 29. Thunder on 4. Subaru lead the team's points on 317 with from Mitsubishi on 308. BMW are on 299 with Mazda on 265. Peugeot are on 239 with Lex on 230. VW are on 194 from Audi on 128. So very close in the drivers and the team's championships going forward after the double points. We'll see you in round five. And as you come back from that then, your winner is Woo Woo there in the BMW. Well done to Woo Woo, a fantastic win for him and the BMW Red Bull team as well. So good win for him and double points. So that was the end of the special event. We hope you all enjoyed that one, guys. And next time it is going to be round five of the WTCR Championship Season 2 at Autopolis. So we will see you over in Japan. We'll see you then. Take care. Thank you, everyone, for watching that race from Interlagos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to LPG Racing as well. Every single subscriber you get really helps boost our channel. And next time, guys, it's going to be round five, race one, coming to you from Autopolis in Japan. We will see you in the land of the rising sun.